All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we're gonna head into Vampire Savior. This is the third oh, Darkstalkers game. Incidentally, this is the last one that was played heavily competitively in arcades. There are two more after this we're gonna investigate, but this is the last one that in arcades was, you know, uh, a major tournament game. I upped the difficulty to five stars. So you guys seem to want to see a harder challenge, all right? So let's watch the intro to this one. By the way, look at the borders of the screen. They've changed again. They've changed again to feature new characters. I think I see Lilith on the left-hand side there. <clears throat> okay. Look at that, Akuma. Dirty Beret. I don't know what the hell that means. Maybe it's part of their dev team. All right, Vampire Savior time. Oh, yes, I know who this is. I know who that character is. He's an asshole. <laughs> I don't remember the story of Lilith. I think she might be part of Morrigan, and she's separated into separate beings or something. BB Hood is insane. Fucking Red Riding Hood with guns. Queen Bee is cool. She's uh, supposed to be like a, you know, a mutant bee queen who controls all insects. Like Queen of the Insects. It's kind of an uh, interesting premise. So once again, I have to change my controller setting. Yeah, see? I can't believe they mismapped the game. That's so crazy to me. So left bumper has to be... Heavy punch. I can't believe they, mis they mismapped the buttons. I wonder if it's like that for online, too. It probably is, right? <clears throat> I wonder who I should play. Should I play Queen Bee? BB Hood? Um, I don't want to play Jetta in this one. Jetta's the most powerful character like in all Darkstalkers. He's broken as fuck. Anyway, Big Papa Phil to me $3 and says, I'm at work. I can only catch bits and pieces of the stream right now, but I'm loving the arcade runs that you've done so far. Well, thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. I definitely want to use one of the new cast of characters. <laughs> This is the, the title screen, or the uh, character selection I'm used to. There's BB Hood. <laughs> Queen Bee is really cool, man. Um, I'm either gonna do Queen Bee or BB Hood. Shit, I can't decide. They're both cool characters. What do you guys think, Queen Bee or BB Hood? Queen Bee? Queen Bee. Turbo. I gotta look up her moves list. So, she could float during a jump, that's right. She could air dash. Just downed moves up. It's any button up now. Okay, quarter circle, forward, and punch. Is it air? It could be used in the air as well. That's right, tap repeatedly. There's her, her, her stinger. She has like a stinger multi hit move. The quarter circle back and kick, that she's a wall dive like Adon from Street Fighter Alpha. That's what that is. While blocking, dragon punch plus kick. So that must be a reversal move. She's blocking. You rever Dragon Punch plus kick while you're blocking. That's interesting. And then she's got command throw. Half circle back plus punch. So I don't remember what the quarter circle forward plus punch move is. It might be... Can't remember. I'll have to mess around a little bit with her. Try to figure out her moves. And then command throw. Half circle back. That blocking move is interesting. It's an auto, an auto counter move when blocking. And then she has two supers. One is Dragon Punch plus punches, and then quarter circle forward, or, or half circle forward plus kicks. And she also has plus two buttons of the same strength simultaneously. Oh, doesn't she have, oh yeah, doesn't she go boom, boom, boom? Does she have multiple hits? We gotta try all, she has a million moves. She seriously has a ridiculous amount of moves. That's right, so this game has Dark Force. And I'm trying to remember exactly what it is. Because every character has a different Dark Force move. I've, if she does Dark Force, I think it changes the properties of her. Doesn't she float? I think she floats and could do like aerial moves she couldn't do previously when her Dark Force is enabled. So what it is, in this game, there's a new mechanic called Dark Force. When you build up a bunch of super meter, if you press two buttons of the same strength together, like Light Punch and Light Kick, every character has a completely unique thing that happens. All right? they all It's like it's timed. It reduces your super meter as you do it. But if they're all completely different, I think when Morgan, a clone comes out and attacks you from behind, in her case, I think she could fly around the whole screen infinitely. I'm trying to remember. All right, let's try out her moves. Here we go. Bishamon. Yeah, I remember. This is the one I played the most. Vampire Savior. Look at these new stages. Oh, that's right. That's your command grab. Yeah. 
There's the dot. That's like Adon in, in Alpha. Street Fighter Alpha. Oh, look at that move. Oh, that's cool. And she jumps into those bees. That's just jumping fierce punch. Damn. You may be noticing that the, that the health meters are different too. So here's, here's a major difference in Vampire Savior. In Darkstalkers and in Night Warriors, it's just like Street Fighter. Every round, you have an energy bar. When the round ends, the energy bars refill. Vampire Savior, the, the franchise starts doing something completely unique. You have two energy bars, but they don't refill. When you die, it just restarts. It's like a new round to reset your characters, but you get a second energy bar, but the other character keeps their first energy bar. So, essentially, you have two bars to start with, and you just always have them. There's no auto-reset between rounds. It's a unique concept, for sure. <clears throat> And also, you can gain health back when you win a round. Depending on, see how it's blinking uh, white? You'll see it blinks white. That's the energy you can earn back But if, you, if you, the round ends. So, it's pretty unique in that regard. And then other games in the future copied. I think like someone just said Injustice. Right. It's, it's kind of like that. Exactly. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at that damage. There's the beast. Oh, there she goes. She throws the giant, the giant shit. And then what's this one? Oh, that one she throws the beehive. The bees come out of the beehive. And then I think that's an auto combo. Of the hit. She do it in the air. Oh, that's cool that she can do it in the air. I like that. Damn, she's got really good jumping normals, if you haven't noticed. All her moves in the air. Look at the dog! <laughs> her jumping normals all have a giant area of effect. You only feel a prickle, don't be afraid. She doesn't sting you and kill you. Great. The Demon Realm beckons. Play Vampire Savior, Lord of the Vampire. Here's Sasquatch. This is Shenko's stage. Yeah, look at all her normal. Her normal attacks are very weird. So all her jumping kicks from what I'm seeing. All her jumping kicks go straight and all her jumping punches go down. Yeah. I don't think she has an anti-air though, and that could be a problem. Come in, throw! Yeah, look at that. Her jumping medium punch is great. Look at that. Oh, wow. I like that a lot. I got it with the bees. The bees are the bees. The bees are the bees. The music is great. Sasquatch has got a bunch of health back. What the hell? He just hitting me non-stop. Oh my god! He kept hitting me non-stop and everything was, was fucking doing insane damage. Did you see how much damage he was doing? Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I love the music, but my god, that was ridiculous. Thank you, Mike, for a super chat. Yeah, right. He anti-aired that. Oh, the bees are how you finish that combo. Okay. Yeah, the bees are the safe thing to do there. Command throw. Command throw again, and he blocked it. That's right. Her command throw, you can block. I forgot about that. No, the background flickering is not a bug. That's how it looks. They actually designed it to look like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you can combo with the command throw. I'm trying. I don't think it works. Yet. Oh my God! Look. A family of bees she's gonna eat, she's gonna feed. Oh my god, that's disturbing as shit. 
She summons the family and pulls out a fork at night. She's gonna eat Sasquatch for dinner and feed it to the family. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude. What in the holy hell? This is Rikuo's new stage. You can hover as well, see that? Wow. What? He read he read the dive and counter hit the dive. That's absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. Yeah, this difficulty is ridiculous. It's too hard. I'm only on the third guy. He's literally reading every input and counter hitting me. I don't even have a chance to do anything, so I'm gonna have to lower the difficulty. Keep in mind, I'm not great at this game, I'm just trying to learn it. And the computer's going crazy. Oh my god, I'm in the middle of hitting him. He's a command throw. Yeah, dude, I, I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. I gotta change the difficulty, it's way too hard. And there's no way to do it from here, you have to quit the game, so I have to start over. Yeah, it's way, that's only level three, and that literally the enemy's reading every input I do and counter hitting me. There's no way I'm gonna be able to beat it or learn the game. <clears throat> so anyway, people are saying there's a troll. Guys, can you please be patient? I, I'm playing the game. I have to pay attention to the game, thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna take care of it, good. Shout out to OTB who took me $10. Thank you, OTB, for a $10 tip. Uh, here we go. So we're gonna try that again. With a drastically reduced difficulty, that's way too hard. Okay. I like Queen Bee as a character. I'd actually like to learn how to play with her. I think her command grab is going to be really good. You've never seen a game before? Really? So there's Gunner Glass this time, guys. Let's change the difficulty. That was absolutely ridiculous. Maybe go to like four star. Five star was ridiculous. Let's just do four star. Okay. Vampire Savior, the Lord of Vampire. Jade, the backstory of the game is basically just all the the creatures of the night are fighting each other for ultimate supremacy. And the story of Darkstalkers 1 is that Pyron, a, an alien, comes down to the planet and tries to take it over. Um, And so he wants to fight all the monsters. And then, I don't know what the plot is of Vampire Savior. Oh, no, I do. Jetta is a demon who awakens and he's trying to resurrect a demon god. I forgot about that. Do you guys want me to do Queen B again, or you want me to try BB Bot, uh, BB, BB Hood? I'm gonna keep it whatever. B, I don't know. I don't say anything. Finish Queen B. Okay. I got a different color. I don't even know how to pick the default color. <clears throat> I don't know how it works. <clears throat> I'm not sure that, that her rapid fire this. I don't think it has any nukes. It seems pretty shitty. I should like this color a lot. She looks like a real bee now. Oh, that's good. I'm not sure how to use the, uh, how to use that, like, uh, what is it, the honey? Dark Force. Okay, so see Dark Force, she floats. I don't know how to use it. 
Yeah, see, she can float. I think she just infinitely floats. Yeah, so if you can figure out what to do there, you can probably keep hitting and do cross-up combos and stuff, but I don't know how to use it. Every character is different with Dark Force. That's right, in, J in Japan, BB Hood is called Boletta for some reason. I don't know why. Different character. Maybe they just didn't want a bu the name Bullet in the name in America. They thought people would be upset. All right, so here is <clears throat> Lord Raptor. Like cool. He has a cool state. I like this thing. I grabbed him from that far. Attack and then two and one it into her wall dive. Yeah, like that, see? And you can do other stuff. Oh my god, random ES. I don't know how to time her throw, her command throw. Victor, the Frankenstein's monster. Have we even seen him yet? I don't think so, right? Maybe we're at the beginning. This is weird. His whole village is destroyed. Look, I think Victor's supposed to be one of the, the, the good characters of the game. He's supposed to be like a, a hero character. The beast! Oh, it didn't work. The bees didn't work. Oh my god. You were swollen. Did you see that animation? That was cool. And then the bees pollinate. <laughs> wow. Javor says Victor's super fun to play, even though he's not very good in this game. I think is this the one where you charge the button and he has like powered up punches and stuff if you hold the button down? I think the wall dive, the wall dive is, depends on where they are in the screen is the strength you need to use. not sure how to use your supers. I wish I knew. Also, if you hit the wall dive, you can combo after. I did a combo. You saw that. It was wall dive, low, low medium kick into the stinger. I agree. Big Papa feels that this series has a lot of charming character to it. It's very unique. The character designs are so unique. 
BB Hood. Here's Bebby Hood. Supposed to, I think she's supposed to be some kind of a crazy huntress. It's not really clear. But like, is she supposed to be like Dorothy from Wizard of Oz? Is she supposed to be like Little Red Riding Hood? She has Toto with her from freaking from Wizard of Oz. with the bees. Bees again, nah. The bees are, are art. See that? If she ducks, they go over her. Oh no! Call me with the hunters. She's not coming out. Look at how much damage that did. Zebby Bo Bebby took me two dollars and says the flame at the top that burns away the enemy player enemy's HP when you take damage has always been my favorite graphic effect and Felicia is the best. Thank you, Zebby Bo Bebby, for the tip. Now Felicia, incidentally, and I think this is one of the best stages in the game if I remember this one. Yeah, look oh no, this is a different one because it's the, the one before the final boss. Never mind. Still a cool stage though. Look at this. This is not Felicia's stage. This is a stage that anyone could play on. The ghost train. Body, whatever, dude. Oh no, she did a super and timed it perfectly, right? I can't block her. Finally, look at that. That was the EX, uh, EX command throw. Now she gets a command throw out of nowhere, whatever. Now, when she does her dark forces, as you can see, a small version of Felicia comes out and can hit you from behind for combos. She's just jumping through everything I do, which is ridiculous. Yeah, see? She's literally just jumping through everything I do. Every time she reads an input, she's like, jump, hit, jump, attack, jump, attack. Yeah, when you read my inputs, that's what happens. You cheat. Queen Bee's Dark Force, she just hovers. She can hover around infinitely, but I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Of course, why'd you get that combo? I don't get it. Why are you getting a combo? Again, why are you getting a combo?
I hate that it goes over their heads. That sucks. Why am I getting hit? Every button I press, it goes through. Yes. Yes. EX. EX throw. Oh, now she does random super. Oh, another random super. Full two, two random full screen supers. Jesus. <clears throat> and then they eat her. Now you're gonna see a really fucked up final boss. Jetta in the freaking like the womb of God or something. It's really disturbing. So prepare yourselves. You've never seen this before. Fetus of God. Get ready. Welcome to my spirit room. <clears throat> the world is doomed. I set this stage up to relieve it. You've done a good job for me, little insect. Now it's time to rest peacefully inside me. Yes, prepare yourselves. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> <laughs> Got him with the bees! Damn, I beat his ass. I beat his ass. That's absolutely disgusting. <laughs> you, why have you interfered with me? I almost completed my perfect world. I hear a voice saying, generate and prosper. You're just an insect at heart. You can never understand me. As their number kept increasing explosively, they built a huge empire at the center of the demon world. Will their invasion of the demon world ever end? What will it ultimately lead to for them? Are they doomed because of overpopulation? <clears throat> The demon bee people take over the demon world. <laughs> Pretty crazy, huh? Very nice. All right. So, I killed Jetta, the boss, in one shot, which is funny because other enemies were tougher. Okay, now. That is Queen Bee. And all the different characters have very unique plot lines in uh, Vampire Savior. There's a lot of new characters. There's Lilith, who I think is supposed to be like... Like Morgan's separated part of her, her personality to another person called Lilith, I guess. Um, BB Hood, Baby Bonnie Hood. Who I guess is some kind of an insane hunter who kills people, I don't know, with bombs and shit. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of unique stuff <clears throat> in the game. I think there's four new characters they added. So, But the thing is, they removed Huitzel, Pyron... D Donovan and uh, Shenko's still in it, but they removed three of the characters from Night Hunter or Night Warriors, and I don't know why they removed them. Okay, all right. <laughs> this is the one that I played the most of. I played it in arcades like crazy back in the day. Get all those characters. 
All right. Very good. <laughs> Game over. All right. So that is Vampire Savior, and likely that's the one I'm thinking that people are going to want to play online competitively. That's what I'm thinking. Like I said, that was like the last one in arcades <clears throat> that got a lot of traction, okay? Now, this next one, Vampire Hunter 2 Darkstalker's Revenge, okay? Um, also known as... Hold on. So remember, there was Darkstalker's The Night Warrior. The Night Warriors, which is Darkstalkers 2, Vampire Savior. Actually, there I, if I remember correctly, there was a Darkstalkers 3. I thought I swear there was. And I don't know if it was Vampire Savior or not. It might be. Vampire Hunter 2 was Japanese only. It never got a worldwide release. And if I'm remembering correctly, what they did in this one now is excuse me. They added in the missing characters from Vampire Hunter 1. So, who it's old Pyron, Donovan are back in it, I think. So, let's find out, because I actually don't remember. But, um... Vampire Hunter 2, Darkstalker Revenge. Yeah, see, this is ja Japan only. Certainly unique, a unique thing on the sides of the screen. Let's take a look here. Do we want that? Wow, it's all different again. Look at this. Wow, it's completely different. Let's do Showdown. Look at the size of the screen there. <clears throat> okay. Vampire Savior was Darkstalkers 3. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. Dirty Beret X now. Whatever that means. <laughs> Clean your goddamn beret. Another new intro. Donovan caught Morgan. Look at that. That's it? Wow, that's a shitty intro. That's the worst of all of them. All right, let's see who's in it. It's the same screen from Vampire Savior, but you've got Donovan, Pyron, and Huitzel. Who's not in it? Queen Bee's gone. BB Hood is gone. A lot of characters are gone. I'm gonna play as Pyron the boss, as you can. Yeah, look, no Lilith. Basically, they removed all the characters who were added for Vampire Savior. And they replaced them with the three characters who are missing from uh, Vampire Hunter, right? So there you go. All right, we're going to play with Pyron the Boss. See how he plays. Can you unlock characters? No, these are arcade games. No unlockable characters. Let's take a look at his moves list. So... That's right. If you press down and punch, he has three different dives he does in midair. <clears throat> different throws. He has an air throw. Fireball, soul smasher, and I believe the different strengths go different directions. Like, I think light punch goes straight. I think fierce punch goes up like an anti-air fireball. <clears throat> Zodiac fire, I think he turns into a wheel of fire and moves forward and hits multiple times. Dur Orbital Blaze, if you jump and do half circle back or a quarter circle back with kick, he does this big spinning flame thing in the air. Galaxy Trip, I, I think that's his teleport. Yeah, 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 I think that's his teleport. Um, <clears throat> he has all different versions of that. Planet Burning is a command throw. Half circle back plus punch, he grabs you and slams. Cosmo Disruption, it says you can charge and release. He goes like this and all of a sudden sparkly explosions start hitting on the screen, but it's kind of delayed. Piled Hell. That one I don't remember. So that's Dragon Punch, Dragon Punch plus two kicks. And then there's Down Forward, Down and Two Punches, Shining Gemini. I don't know what those are. We'll have to try them. Okay. Yeah, the viewership is good today. People wanted to see what was in the collection. All right, here we go. Fireball. There's the Light Fireball. Medium. And, oh, wait a minute. No, I fucked up the controls, guys. I remember I got to change the controls. I keep forgetting to do it. So this should be Heavy Punch. There we go. I can't believe they screwed up the button mapping in this. So there's light fireball, medium. And heavy goes straight up. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. 
That's his aerial move. Yeah, see, so he kicks in the air. There's only one hit, though. I think EX might hit more than once. It does! Wow, EX hits a bunch of times. Yeah. Lose command, though. Oh. Get you close enough. Oh, look at this! Oh, wow, he made a clone! That's the sparkly shit. Yeah. Oh, there he- okay, he turns into a column of energy. It's like an anti-air. Okay, I'm trying to figure out all his moves. I didn't want to teleport. I'm trying to do the kicks, it's gonna be teleported. Oh wow, it's a high kick. Byron's interesting in this. He seems pretty good, actually. Big Papa Phil says they made a Pyron skin for Gil and Street Fighter Five. People hated it because crazy lights and flames are too distracting during gameplay. Uh. Hunter v Hunter. Now, if you have you noticed, this is Japanese because there's no American version of this. They never, they never uh, made it English. So everything in the game is going to be Japanese. You're not going to be able to read it. Jay Kuma says, how tight are the inputs in this game? Pretty tight, I'll be honest. They're pretty, it's like an old school Street Fighter game. They're, they're, they're pretty strict. The good news is most of the characters don't have very complex yeah. inputs, so it's not that big of a deal. I think I'm doing a lot of, oh, by the way, John Tell Ban is called, look, he's called Gallon. I don't know why they changed it to John Tell Bane in, in uh, the English version of the game. But his name is Gallon here. Look at this. You saw that I had an auto clone. Look, the auto clone yes. comes out for additional hits and combos. Yes. Damn. Yo, he's really good. He's really good. I mean, he's the boss. Green scream again. I just find it weird that they removed the new characters just to put the characters in from from Vampire Hunter that were missing. It's odd to me that they did that. Again, they just shaved the color of the stage. They did it in Vampire Hunter, they're doing it in Vampire Hunter 2. Oh, here's the dive. Yeah, the dive punch. There you go. I think you can combo after them, too. Yeah, you can do hit and then another hit. You cancel to a second hit. I just didn't mind, but I don't know what it does. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> it didn't really do anything. Command throw. Boom. Oh my god, everything I do he counter hits. Dude, everything I do is just slam or counter hit. Jesus Christ. Again. And this is only on, what, level four difficulty? <clears throat> Look at that, wind pose. It's only level four difficulty and every button I press, he's counter hitting me. Oh, by the way, look, his name is Allbath. Yeah. 
It's not Riku it's all that. They all they, all the Japanese uh the Japanese version has all different names for every character. I wonder why. Why do you use all different characters to rename them? I don't know. That's odd. Ah, I turned into a living cloud of flame and beat it. Nice. Oh, my clone. I'm not getting it. Pyron has one of the best down moves. Because it's super fast, he teleports to them, so it's like instant. <clears throat> I think they could make a Dark Stalkers for it. That'd be dramatically different from this, though. <clears throat> okay. All right, Lord Raptor. Oh, we are gonna do something special for 200,000 subscribers, but we have to get there, and it, sub growth has been very slow the past two months, so. We kind of lost momentum with Sogro when there was no new releases. I was thinking we were going to hit in the summer, now we probably aren't going to. Maybe in the fall, if we're lucky. No, the Ribbon Pale Bit. <laughs> yes. By the way, I think that that by the way, he's not Lord Raptor, he's Zabble now. See, every character has a different name in Japan. Zabble instead of Lord Raptor. But anyway, um, he's supposed to be a British rock star who died and then came back as a ghoul. That's why he's dressed like that. Super, you blocked every one. Oh my god. Close. Tough fight. He looks like the mascot for Iron Maiden. I mean, exactly. That's what they were going for. I think that's actually what they were going for with Zabel or Lord Raptor. So here, Le she's not Shenko, she's Lele. Why are they all different names? I don't understand. They're all a different name. Wow, she's anti-air. Stupid bomb, get it out of here. Her bomb can hit her, by the way. See? Her bombs can hit her. So you gotta be careful. Oh no! Ow! She was a ghost. She looks like a ghost yeah. to me. Oh, I want to command throw. Oh, 
that's not what I wanted. Okay. All right, Phobos. Who they got Huitzil? Who's called Phobos? Again, another different name. His name is Phobos, not Huitzil. Why? It's like they just purposely did it. They just wanted different names in, in, in English for some reason. Dash in with him and do auto combos, and they're actually pretty good. I'm trying to remember how to do them. Yes. One hit. Still won't yes. die! Oh my god! He's still not dead! You can't kill this guy. Guy, too. Yes. It's super right there. What the frick? Yes. Oh my god. Wow! All that work? Yes. All that work, I can't do any damage to him. He's ridiculous. <laughs> Jeez. No, I don't. I never saw an American cartoon of Darkstalkers. No, didn't even know it existed. I could go on my seat tonight. Oh my god, here we go, I press a button, counter hit. Yes. Right. I'm trying to do command throws, I'm just getting the regular, they're not giving me the command throw. How little my throws are doing, so I think they did reduce his damage a lot. I'm doing like no damage to him. Yes. It seems like there's way reduced damage right now. Hit him at all, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> he won't die. EX slam. Jesus Christ, an EX command throw. It seems like he had reduced damage. He take reduced damage, and he was healing way more. He was getting like health back at a, at a accelerated rate. Okay. Alright, boss time. Hyron against 
Jetta. Sadly, we can't read the dialogue because it's Japanese, see? So who knows what the alien pirate is saying to Jetta? I don't know. Basically, two bosses talking and we can't we can't read it. They never bothered translating it. Lane. What's up, Malcolm? Welcome to the stream. Wait, what? It's pirate against Pyron? Why? What happened to Jetta? I guess Jetta's not in it either. It's just Pyron against Pyron. I forgot all about that wheel move. Oh god, man throw. Hey, like that color for firing green. Yes, EX command throw. Boom. Again, EX command throw. Boom. I didn't do that. Got him. Yes. Got him with the down EX move. Very nice. All right, so there you go. That's Pyron and Vampire Hunter 2, but we don't know what his ending says, and it looks like they didn't even bother. Look, seal your fate. Complete Vampire Hunter 2. They really, you can't read it. They didn't even give him like an ending animation because he's a boss character. Look, they didn't bother. Why are they showing Shinko or Lele? I guess they're showing everyone. Look, yeah, they're showing all these characters. So who knows what the hell is going on here? I have no idea. Yes, I did play Rival Schools back in the day. Yes. Jade's gonna play as Felicia or John Talbain. Sadly, I don't really know those characters that well. Um, I'll, eventually, I'm gonna try them out for like the online play. I will, but I don't think I'm gonna do it for the arcade runs because the arcade's kind of challenging. I think I'm actually gonna. I think I know who I want to do for my last run. <clears throat> the character who I'm actually used to play with a lot. All right. That's Vampire Hunter 2. We got one left. Vampire Savior 2. I think Vampire Savior 2 has, like, all the characters, if I remember correctly. I think it's, like, every character is in it now after that. Yes, every character has a unique dark force in the game, but I don't know what they all do. They're all different. Every character is different. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Very nice. Okay, one more to go. 